I'd like to yield one minute to the always erudite gentleman from New Jersey, my friend Congressman Pascrell. One minute. Good morning, Mr. Speaker. The Isn't gentleman it a from New Jersey is recognized for one minute. This is the <laughs> sequel to uh, Weekend at Bernie's, you know, but this doesn't work. You know, the headline yesterday in the Post was the GOP campaign's ditch touting tax law. The first one stunk. This is even worse. Look, it, it, Republican economist Douglas Holtz Aiken, a good, good guy, he said just May, this past May, there's just no evidence that the tax cuts actually pay for themselves. Of course they don't. And that's why you're targeting health care. That's why you're targeting, uh, targeting Medicare. That's why you're targeting Social Security. You already targeted Medicaid. So look, in New Jersey, the average salt, we're still a state. The average salt deduction claimed in 2016 was more than the 10,000 limit. In my district, the average is over 18,000. And one of the counties in my district is 24,000. What have you done? That means that the average tax paying household, Jersey, listen up, now has to pay income tax on an additional 14,000 worth of income. We may have 12 Democrats by the end of the election. If they're a middle class family being taxed at 24 percent, that's an extra $3,400. I yield the gentleman an additional one minute. Time. The gentleman from New Jersey is recognized for an additional minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm glad to thank you for your courtesies. Thank the courtesy to the chairman and ranking member. For hundreds of thousands of New Jersey families, that is a mortgage payment. That's a tuition bill. That's money for unexpected medical bills. Instead, it's going to be moving to pay more bills in Montana and South Dakota. I offered an amendment to restore the full SALT party vote. So every member who votes for this monstrosity today is voting to make the SALT caps forever and to impose a permanent tax on middle class families. It is mind boggling. A member would want to hammer his constituents like that. I ask my colleagues, how could you vote to punish your middle class constituents to give them more money? And what's even more fascinating, a number of people on the other side, Mr. Speaker, no wonder they're voting for this thing today. They get less than 1% of their donations from folks like you and me. So that's why they are tuned in to corporate America. Have a great month, Mr. Speaker.